Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can manually create rounded corners. In a previous video I showed you how you could use an Inkscape extension to automatically round corners but I thought it'd be interesting just to show you how you could do this uh, without the extension or if the extension didn't work and you had to do it manually. You can see here I've got a sharp shape and I've converted that into rounded corners. So if I select that and control D to duplicate it and I'll just drag control drag a copy down here now before I work on this shape I'll control D to duplicate it again give the duplicate a yellow fill and shift click red for a red outline and then send it to the back so that you can see underneath uh, what we had and it helps uh, move handles and things around uh, having that shape underneath as you'll see in a minute now, since this is already a, a path, I don't have to convert it to a path. If it was a rectangle or some other auto shape, polygon perhaps, I might have to select it and go path, object to path, but I don't have to do that here. With this object selected, if I press N for the node tool, you can see there are nodes on each corner, and that indicates it is a, a path. Now, I'm going to select the ellipse tool, and control shift drag just any ellipse, then select tool you can see the dimensions are a bit, bit over three millimeters I'll click the lock tool to constrain the proportions I did that before, you might have to do it now if you're following along if I make it say a five millimeter radius of the circle sorry diameter and enter then check that uh, intersections are snapping and that the center of objects are snapping if I drag the circle there, you can see the, set, the center snaps to the corner. So I'll do that on each corner. I'll control C the circle and just control V and snap to each corner. Control V, snap that one to the corner. You don't actually have to do this, this is just an extra step if you want to be more precise. Control V and snap to the corner. And finally this uh, concave corner, control V, and snap to that corner. Okay, so back to the original. If I select the actual shape, the blue shape, and then again in for the node tool, what I'm going to do is double click, zoom in and double click on here. I'm not actually putting a node on the circle, I'm, I've selected the blue shape, so if I double click there, I'll put a node on the blue shape. And over here, double click. Now I'm going to select the corner of the blue shape, still with the node pointer, and press delete. You can see it automatically converts it to a smooth corner, but these handles allow you more control. If I drag that handle there, it snap into the path, um, and that, that can help. So I might drag it to about there, this one, see it's uh, snapping into the path, and I might be happy with that. So now I'll go to the next corner, do the same thing. If I click the blue shape, in for the node tool, double click to create nodes at about that point. You can do that without the circle there of course, it'd be a bit more guesswork. Select the corner, delete. Now I'll drag this handle down a bit and I can't see the shape underneath but uh, that seems about right, it's telling me it's snapping to the path. Zoom in on this corner, double click where the circle intersects the blue shape, select the corner, delete, and drag the handle along the path some ex to some extent to be happy. And I'll zoom out uh, just to navigate a bit more quickly, then zoom in again, double click. Try not to move too much here because it's not won't actually snap. Realise I'm just not moving your mouse too much when you double click. Click the corner there, delete, drag these handles to about there. You can see I get a nice rounded corner. And over to the last one, zoom in, double click. See it's not quite at the intersection but it won't matter. We're at high magnification. Click the corner, delete drag the handle along until it snaps 
this handle along, say to there, and now if I zoom out, I can select the circles, shift click to select uh, multiple objects, and delete those circles. If I zoom in, just click the yellow shape, delete, get rid of that, and see now I've got a rounded corner version of the original shape. So that's uh, a little bit uh, technical at times, but it just shows you what you can achieve in Inkscape. And producing rounded corners is handy for you know, icons and things like that. I was creating some, you know, small cars and trucks and planes and people for use in maths worksheets. For example, an angle of elevation problem, looking at a ship from a cliff. And uh, they looked a bit odd with the sharp corners, so rounding the corners helped there. Once again, hope that's been of use to you, and thanks for watching.